Hey guys, welcome back to Thailand. We have today made a little bit of adventure outside of Bangkok, about an hour, so about 30 miles, to Wat Song Pran, which mm -hmm. is the Dragon Temple. A hidden gem, which I'm so excited to be here for. This is why they call it the Dragon Temple. It's uh, 80 meters tall for the number of years that Buddha was alive. And what's really cool about it is that the dragon is wrapped around from bottom to top, head at the top of the tower. It's very incredible to see. It's only dated from 1985. At the time, it was a very visited place. Until about the early 2000s, when a monk was caught and convicted of some sexual harassment, sexual assault issues going on here. We were just walking around the gardens and there's nobody here. It's like an abandoned town. Yeah, abandoned town is the best way to describe it. To be honest, it's, it's kind of creepy. A little creepy. I think I've only seen like 10 people since we've been here. But let's go look around. Yeah. Let's see if we can get creeped out. It's like a band. Okay guys, so this is the entrance. We are now entering the body of the dragon to get up to the top of the temple. Here we go. No smoking. This closes at 5 p.m. so they don't get trapped in here. Let's go. Watch out for this. It almost feels safe. Like I don't know what's happening, guys. <laughs> it almost feels like we're underground. Yeah. But it's a little creepy. We just stepped over that bridge and the alarm started going off. I don't know. What's that going on? We're in the body of the dragon. Now it's making some eagle noise. There's a bat. There's bats in here. <laughs> It's almost like a deserted funhouse. Oh. Because there's like weird stuff. I don't like that. Oh, I see light. I see light. That's scary. We were just in that, guys. Okay, guys, we finally made it to the top. This is the tongue of the beast. And it looks like other people have put their offerings here, so I'm going to do the same. that's like this is now kind of abandoned. All right guys, so we're gonna head on down and we're heading to, I believe it's pronounced Kelong Lot Mayon, which is a floating market. See you when we get there. I can't wait anymore. Walk down the path and then we're going to the road. Thank you. Oh dear, thank you. Thank you. So we had to make a slight change. Yes, Kelong Floating Market is actually only open on weekends, Saturday or Sunday. And I think in my research, I probably saw that somewhere, and I just forgot. It's Wednesday, so when we got into our grab, she said it's closed, and we were looking up a different floating market to come to. We're actually here now at Don Huai Floating Market. I tried to use my Google Translate in conversation, and even that was difficult to try and get her while she was talking mm -hmm. and figure that out. And we don't speak Thai. Zero. And they have a different alphabet. We were lost there for a second. Completely lost. This one's known as more of a locals floating market. Not gonna be super touristy, but you never know. So we'll see what we find. Thank you. So we got a crispy egg crepe. Getting out of Bangkok, you can tell that there's less English. Much less. Pumpkin seeds in there. Yeah. 
Bean. Bean? Ah, bean. Oh, bean paste. Ah. ah. This is a pretty incredible market. We're getting all the different smells here. I get a lot of cinnamon and a lot of cloves. That it actually looks like they have a lot of sweet stuff here too. So much seafood, so much incredible fish. Lots of ducks, roasted ducks. I have not seen one tourist here. Which is kind of nice because it makes it very local and it's very cultural. People here are just incredibly friendly and incredibly nice and they just want us to kind of learn about what's going on here. These things are huge. I think they're just swimming with the river. We're breaking into our fried egg crate. Check it out. So this has chicken and bean sprouts. Hmm. It's really yummy, actually. I'm for Corey's expert analysis of this egg pita pocket. You know, it tastes like a spring roll. Eggy spring roll. So we stopped at a restaurant within the market, sitting on the river currently. We are far from Bangkok. The menu is all in Thai. We can't read any of it. Crab omelet, shrimp omelet. Can I do this one? I ordered that. There's some sort of announcement going on. We got a younger kid to take our order and he used his phone to translate the Thai into English. I was using Alex's Google Translate and I hovered it over what I got and it said Kung Pao Chicken. And then when he put it into his phone, he showed me that it was purple chicken. So I'm a little intrigued as to what's gonna come out for my food. So I ordered this. I used Google Translate as well. I was like, this looks familiar. This looks like eggs. This is probably why they call it a floating market. I got my little omelet here. Looks like some hot sauce. Looks bomb. I'm happy with it. I got my dish and it is not purple chicken. Google Translate was correct. Kung Pao chicken. We got cashews in here. We got the chicken. We got some bell peppers. We got some onions. It smells delightful. Cheers. Cheers. Solid order. Bomb. I think lunch was a success. It was. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can catch a grab and head back to the city. See you there. market. Bangkok is market central. This is probably the busiest one that we have attended. We are at the night train market. Actual name right here. The biggest day to come here is on Friday or Saturday. So it is Saturday night here in Bangkok. It was just raining pretty hard, but now that it's stopped raining, Everyone has come out. There's a ton of people here, but it's some of the best street food here in Bangkok. Let's go look around. Thank you. Whatever sauce is on here is incredible. Sweet, spicy. We have finally made it past all the food stalls and we are here in the merchandise section where it's said that you can find just about anything here. And I think they might be right.
8 o'clock here. So I'm sure around 10 or 11, this place will be bumping. So we stopped at one of the restaurant type bars here. I had to sit down. There's not that many places to sit out there if you couldn't tell. Ordered some beers. We got some big boys. We got Chong, which is one of the local beers here in Bangkok. We're just going to uh, chill out for a moment and view all the madness. I really enjoyed this market and when we were kind of deciding, I thought we might want to go to the Chetawik weekend market as well. But this one I thought was more fun. I thought we were going to get rained out at first, but it turned out to be a good night. I would say that I didn't like about this market was that when you bought stuff from the food stalls, there was no place to sit. So we were wandering around with food, trying not to spill it and then trash from our food before. But I did really enjoy this night. It was a great time. That'll do it for tonight. I'm going to sit here and enjoy this beer. We'll see you tomorrow for more exploration. Guys, we're going on an adventure tonight. Sun Road? 80.